All right, you guys, so this is episode, shoot, I don't even know what episode number this is anymore. Uh, this is episode 10 of Eight Season of the Vampire Diaries. I'm actually very excited for this. Uh, coming off the last episode, I don't know when this reaction is going to be coming up. I apologize if you get it late, late, but there will be a review. I can guarantee that the night of. Let's get this started. Let's, let's see how this is going to go. Hopefully my uh, memory stick does not die. That's going to be... Terrible if it does. Here we go. That's the name of mine. Oh. I am not going anywhere. Fine. Breakfast in bed it is. <laughs> How do you like your eggs? Are you really here right now? Damon? Wait, Damon's here too? See, I gave you a choice. You didn't have to kill these people, but you did. You chose to feed. And that makes you the perfect offering for Cain. What does that mean? It's a little hard to explain. Probably easier if I just show you. Dang. Kidding, it's all fire and brimstone in here. It's gonna be a lot more complicated than I thought. Okay, here's the deal. Consciously, Damon believes that he is in hell. What? For some reason, Damon thinks that's where he belongs. Well, how do we change his mind? Well, that's the question only Damon can answer, so I suggest you go in there and ask him yourself. This is what she wants. All right, ladies, grab on. She wants this. She's trying to tear his subconscious down. Guess the inside of Damon's head looks a whole lot like the outside. We're looking for Damon Salvatore. Well, that's easy. He's right behind you. Take it back. This might take a minute. Mr. Salvatore was a bit of a hero during the war. Yeah, we know all that. Um, but where is he right now? You do understand I meant the Civil War. You're Henry. Damon told me he saved your life during the war, so where is he? I'm going to have to ask you both to leave. No! Damn it! What was that about? How are we supposed to know? Well, what did Damon say? He didn't say anything because he wasn't there. It's impossible. It's his mind. You're the one who did this to him. So, unimpossible it. That, believe me, I'm trying. But if you guys can't find Damon, then there's nothing I can do. Maybe I can help. Sorry, I was eavesdropping. Stefan. Hello, Caroline. Oh my gosh, what is going on? This is the episode of the vampire. Man, I don't know what's about to go down. I'll be right back, y'all. What the heck is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> I was looking at that, I was like, all I see was like a red mark. It scared the crap out of me. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, man, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm just here because when you killed me last night, Kate and I had a little chat, and it turns out hell needs more souls than I've been providing. And it's time for Damon to do his part. Just wake Damon up so he can earn his keep, and we're good. Damon's humanity is on, which means that he's all emo and afraid of owning up to what he did when it was off. When we were kids, we used to hide out every time we did something wrong until I'd find him and tell him everything was going to be okay. So, all you need to do is find out where he's hiding in there and do the exact same thing. Hey, guys. Wow. Vicky Donovan? Yeah. Caroline Forbes? Last time I checked, that's my name. Are you guys here for lunch? Follow me. Wow. That's creepy. What if I told you the person who killed Vicky was suffering right now? And that that bell could either save him and make sure that he keeps being punished. I say let him suffer. Dang. It's follower. Oh. Oh. I don't think we're the only ones working this case. She was. 
Vicky. You talk to your mom. No, she's not real, Bon. I know. But if I were you, I'd still have some things to say. Dude, I wonder if Jeremy's gonna pop up on this because Vicky was dating Tyler and Jeremy. This, this is gonna be tricky, dude. Wow. Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Something wrong? Wow. Dang. I'll take that as a yes. Dang. Dang. My finally home detective skills tell me this is probably about a boy. <laughs> uh, you're right. Uh, Demon Salvatore. Which one is he? <laughs> I know, it's all a little confusing. Demon was, um, is in the Founders Council. And he's sort of your best friend. Oh. Or he became your best friend. Honey, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Or who Damon Salvatore is. Um. Uh -oh. I'd say the vampire I've been looking for is my own daughter. Uh-oh. Conscious is nuts. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. Let me show you guys. Thanks for the call, Matt. I've been waiting a long time for this day. Hmm? That's not good. Oh, God. Ah! 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 Oh! <laughs> Mom, why are you doing this to me? Because you're a vampire, Caroline. I'm ashamed to know I raised the monster that's killing the people I'm supposed to protect. No, I told you, Damon is the one who's doing it, not me. Stop saying that to me. <gasps> Mom, please, no, you know it. Just stop hurting me for one second and think. No. Damon is dead. No. No. You are. What? You got. And you died, Mom. Dang. And you want to know who was there for you the whole time? It was Damon. Stop it, Caroline. Stop making excuses. Believe me, I never thought I would see the day. Damon was a monster and he did terrible things to me and my friends. And I used to hate him for that. So why are you enduring all this pain and all this suffering for him? Because it was the only person who truly understood how much it hurt to lose you. And as strange as it sounds, that made me forgive him for everything else. means everything to me. The rules are rules. I'm gonna need something that belongs to Damon if you want me to find him. He wrote me a letter once. He was trying to apologize to me. He's been around here somewhere. Have you gone soft, child? This is my house. And it's Damon's head. And that means if you're willing to help, deep down Damon wants me to find him. 
But if he ever wants me to know what this says, he's gonna have to read it to me himself. He was burned at the stake, which means his domain is pretty much a ball of fire. And the tuning fork disrupts that energy. And when it gets amplified by the striker and bell, it rips a hole open, straight to Cade. Sounds dangerous. I like it. <laughs> you have no idea. This is getting interesting. This is getting so interesting. I've always wondered what Damon wrote in the letter. And the thing about it was I always had this feeling that Damon really had feelings for um, Bonnie. Um, I don't know, man. This is getting really interesting. This is a great episode. I'll talk to y'all soon. All right, peace. You shouldn't be here, Bonnie. Uh-oh. Tyler! Please leave, or I'll make you. That siren is evil to the core. You're not destroying our town. Aren't I? Because it's caused me nothing but trouble, and the emotional hold it has over Damon is worse than a Hallmark card. You're forgetting one small detail. You need a Maxwell to ring that bell, and I'm not touching it. Oh, yes, you are, man. And when you do cause the deaths of all those innocent people, I get to mark your do-gooder soul for Cade. Wow. It's a win-win. Stay away from him. I'm sorry. Who are you again? If you compel me, you're making a choice for me, and all that blood will be on your hands, not mine. So how badly do you want me to go to hell? Pretty badly. So here's the deal. The choice is yours, Matt. But you have to follow your heart. What's that supposed to mean? It means that if you don't want to ring that bell, you have to forgive Damon for killing your sister. And if you can't, then you have to ring that bell 12 times by the top of the hour. No excuses. Wow. You, man. Dang. Yo. What? I told you to go. You can't make me leave. Damon led me to this crypt because he wanted me to find a way to save him. You can't save him, Bonnie. Damon killed me. That makes me the only one who can ever forgive him for that. Damon's done a lot of things, Tyler. Things he's gonna have to spend the rest of his life atoning for. And I know that's scary, but I believe he can do it. He just has to believe he can. Damon Salvatore is dead, and if you ask me, good riddance. I'm sorry, Tyler. That is not how this place works. He lived and died as a human being. He never became a vampire. It's the only way he can imagine keeping the people that he loves safe.